are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Road Rants for Black and White Sports. Let's talk about the woke NBA and the fact that the NBA never in life ever needs ask for another Republican viewer. And judging by the amount of people that voted for Trump, another independent viewer in the history, the further future history of their league. Because we have yet another NBA player that has come out and decided to uh, disrespect Trump supporters, disrespect traditional American values, disrespect the president, the current president, and as more and more things begin to come out about voter fraud, very likely the future next four-year president, Donald J. Trump. After the election, the election that's still not over, by the way, as we know, all Democrats are celebrating a false narrative of a Joe Biden win. Very quickly, if you want to further support this channel, channel memberships are available down below. Now, J.R. Smith, you know, the NBA journeyman, they can't seem to do anything without following LeBron James around, giving him a hand job in order to further his NBA career and stay afloat, has decided to literally ride down the road past a Trump rally, blasting a song that says F Donald Trump, He puts his hands out the window like a pure, unadulterated, no-good thug and flips off Donald Trump supporters, Trump supporters, Republicans, independents, and a hell of a lot of former Democrats, by the way. So, the NBA, the NBA Finals ratings were down 70%. As we know, the NBA embraced about every terrible narrative known to man i'm not naming them off again take your pick adam silver has come out and said there won't be anything on the court there's not going to be any social messages uh we're good after looking like in the interview he was suffering from a seven year long hangover he looked terrible because he knows his players his uneducated players like jr smith that we found out most of them wasn't registered to vote, and they're trying to lecture people on voting. Ignorant players like J.R. Smith come out and attack their customer base. They're still doing it. Adam Silver, your players are still attacking, well, let's face it, what used to be your customer base. I've said, the NBA, we have seen the last of it. We have seen the last of the NBA in its previous state. That state in which it was a massive product. All of those 15 million viewership ratings, 20 million, 25 million for the NBA finals, 10 million. They're gone. It's over. It's a wrap. The NBA will never see those kind of television ratings again. And it makes you wonder how viable is the league going forward. There are uh, rumors out there. There's speculation. They're talking about adding all kinds of advertising. They're doing everything they can to try to save this league. And it's too late. It's too late because of dumbass players like J.R. Smith who cannot simply respect the fact that there are 72 million Americans that voted for Donald Trump. Get over it, you big pussy. That goes for you too, LeBron James. I hate to break it to you. CNN and these other media outlets, Fox, sorry ass Fox News, they don't call elections. J.R. Smith, the election is not over, which means there's plenty of continued Trump support in this country. And I got something else to say to you, J.R. Smith. If, for some reason, the Biden screw job continues, Trump 2024, get ready, J.R. Smith. Donald Trump is not going anywhere. One way or another, 
Trump is staying in the limelight, whether it is all of the fraud that gets exposed in this election and he retains being president or whether he leads the greatest comeback story in the history of this country in 2024. Because after we have to deal with Joe Biden and Kamala, the socialist Harris, J.R. Smith, you think 72 million votes was a lot? You're probably going to need 85 million to beat Trump next time. To beat Trump next time, especially if Biden puts us into another lockdown. These NBA players are insanely ignorant. They all went out there peddling Joe Biden. Joe Biden is a damn racist. And they got behind him. Go, go ahead, J.R. Smith. Listen to LeBron James. LeBron James is about your speed. You're both massive punks. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.